My name is Maria Fehampon, and the story that is assigned to me is The Nanking Store by Macario Di Chu. So, Macario Di Chu was born on January 15, 1948 in Davao City. He is an author from Davao. He has been a Mindanao scholar, historian, a community poet, award-winning writer, editor, and researcher for English and the science story, which are primarily fiction. His works are mostly written in Davao and rarely in English. He has been described to be a gifted storyteller who uses his wide imagination in creating his wonderful literary works. Currently, he is a professor at the Ateneo de Davao University and serves as the chair of humanities in the Humanities Division. He is one of the members of the Davao Writers Guild and a contributor of Dagmai, an online literary journal of Davao Writers Guild which aims to visualize the literary expression of Davao community. He has proudly been a three-time Hall of Fame awardee in the Palanca Awards. And I believe he is 51 years old when he made the Nanking store. So for the writer's culture, uh, the story written in Davao City in 1999. So the society at that time are all concerned about having a child, especially a son, due for their tradition continue. In the story, the important thing in this is having a son which represents gratitude to their ancestors. The culture at time, as, a Ch- as Chinese, as Chinese culture, they value and strongly believed and prioritized family, family ancestry, that having a child were very important to have. And I believe he is 51 years old when he made the Nanking store. So let's go on to identifying elements of fiction. So first element is the protagonist. Uh, the protagonist in the story is Linda and Peter. The evidence, um, I have vivid memories of Linda and Peter's wedding. So for the justification, uh, it is the story of two Chinese lovers who were happily living together, but they separated. For the, uh, the antagonist of the story is the mother-in-law. The evidence her in her in law were becoming hostile towards her openly. She began to scold Linda in public. For the just- justification, the mother in law got mad when she found she can have a child. The setting at Pahada and Santa Ana. Uh, evidence Linda would choose to live in Santa Ana while Peter would stay in Bahada. So the justification, it happened the story in between of both place where the Nanking store is located at the Bahada. So for the main conflict, Linda can't bear a child. So the evidence, it is Linda's problem. She had an appendectomy when she was still single. So for the justification, she is having a hard time to bear a child due to her condition. For the symbol, my evidence is her eyes used to be full of light and laughter. Now her eyes were somber. somber. For my justification, it shows that Linda felt by her action and emotion. For the next elements, point of view. Um, the point of view is first person. My evidence is I was three years old then. So my justification, the narrator frequently uses the pronoun I in the story, which he narrates the story of Linda and Peter. The theme, the family's traditions and their beliefs. My evidence the family name was therefore in danger of dying out. It was the worst thing 
that could happen to a Chinese family for bloodline to vanish from the world. Who would pay respect for the ancestors? My justification devalued the importance of their beliefs and traditions for having a Chinese blood. For the second to the last elements, which is figure of speech, my figure of speech here is simile. Feeding me fresh fruit as well as preserved Chinese Chinese fruit like zikya. So it is compared by another fruit called zikya. So the last element, which is moral, my moral is there is nothing we can have if we rush our life. Just take it slowly. And surely you will get there. The evidence Linda's transformation fascinated the entire community. She had removed her scarf and made herself visible in the community again. So my justification, rushing our fate means nothing in the future. There are saying you're not early, you're not late, you're just on time. So there's no exact time to have happiness and peace. It is all on us on how we handle our life through the straight path. Kindly please take a chat, chat in the flat structure. Thank you. For the last part, the reader. Yourself as a reader. Me, personally, I feel melancholy about the protagonist when she suffered a lot of painful circumstances. circumstances. The most standout in the story is about uh, having child, especially son. And how they value their traditions and their beliefs. Um, your culture. The culture I'm in right now is family-oriented. And we give honor in fiestas by celebrating it. The events in the story were relevant to my culture. Is the thought of having a wedding. Uh, uh, before the wedding, we have a suspicious belief before the wedding happened uh, for the historical perspective the story is particularly referred to historical perspective because the story tells the importance of having a child especially a son I believe the story initiated in present time as well as the past because they truly value of having child which is which is in danger to be gone if ever it can't produce for the artistic or literary tradition the story reminds me of my past about rushing things and lead me in a wrong path the story is related to other works because uh, it has plot and settings, and especially it has a complete idea that we can identify. And that's all. Thank you.